I'm so excited to take you through my top five exercises for female golfers. My name is Lisbeth Powells. I'm a golf performance coach. And for over a decade, I've been working with so many female golfers, ranging from junior, college, recreational, professional, and even teaching professionals. And as a golf movement expert, when I design programs, I take into consideration not only the fact that we're dealing with a one-sided rotary sport, but also that there's a menstrual cycle, that there are hormones at play and other anatomical and physiological differences compared to men. First exercise, glute activation. For this, you'll need a block, but you can also use a book. Let's come onto our backs. And place the block next to your left foot and then slide the block underneath your foot. Bring the palms of the hands down and exhale. And while you take a slow exhale, bring the ribcage down and in. Start to lift the pelvic floor muscles and press down with the heels into the ground, both the left and the right foot. And you already start to feel some engagement happening here. From there, raise the hips up and the glute muscle here at the back is super important for us. Uh, it's going to help us prevent injuries from the lower back, as well as enable us to hit it long. All right, from there, simply take the right leg, knee bend in this angle towards your chest. Slowly return it back, press the heel down and return. And dynamically go through this motion while you try to Keep the hips as still and stable as possible. As you've gone through the left side, repeat on the other side. Second step, core stability. And you'll need two kettlebells placed on each side of your foot. Let's go pick them up and stand nice and tall. And first of all, let's use that glute activation, which we just engaged in the previous exercise and start to feel it right here. Now, this is actually a very simple looking exercise, but don't underestimate the challenge of it. What we're going to do is we're going to raise one knee at a time. And you try to maintain the posture upright. So prevent that the upper body and the hips hang, go from side to side or dropping in height. And that's what core stability is really all about and is the foundation of enabling us to withstand the big rotations in our swing. Next step is lower body strength. And I'm going to take you through a deadlift, but any compound lift such as a squat, split squat, push, pull and press are really amazing. What you'll need is a kettlebell placed in between the feet and start to shift the weight back towards the heels and the hips will automatically go back and away. Arms go down by the side and then as you can grab a hold of the kettlebell, take it up, pick it up, slowly bring it back down. Okay, going to demo it from the side as this is a kind of movement with a lot of mechanics involved and we want to keep the spine nice and long and prevent too much arching or rounding in the back here. Inhale, down, exhale, up. Inhale and exhale. This is a lower body strengthening exercise, amazing for longer drives, keeping you stable and strong. Our next exercise is our golf specific rotary power movement. And for this, we'll need a cable or a band attached to a low anchor point. I'm gonna take a hold of the band, place it in front of my chest, feel the core stability, glute engagement from earlier already. Now, making a squat and taking the band, the hands down by the hip, going to come across in an explosive motion and push it away. Back into a squat, take it down and press it away. And I really want to feel that load motion here into the hips, 
and explode motion as I go up. Of course, you do both sides. Now we're going to balance it all out. We're dealing with a one-sided rotary sport, so we need to even it out, especially in the spine and in the breath and the nervous system. Let's come onto the mat, come onto your knees, bring your hands on the mat, fingers spread wide, tuck your toes in the mat, and then gently press the knees up, lift, the hips up and focus on that spinal extension so we're keeping the knees regular, rigorously bent and taking a couple of nice and long deep breaths here in this downward facing dog with the focus on extension in the spine then slowly return onto the knees, come onto tall knees, and here's a little bonus exercise for you. Take the right leg out to the side, toes pointing forward. Place the right hand inside the thigh, and you might already feel a little bit of a stretch here on the inside. And raise the left arm up towards the sky, and bend towards the left side, and start to breathe into that left rib cage. This is going to help you with the diaphragmatic breathing, with bringing back balance into the nervous system. Just a couple of nice long deep breaths, focusing on opening the torso and keeping the breathing towards the left rib cage. Slowly return and repeat on the other side. Okay, so now we've cultivated a strong and stable body, a breath that's even and centered and a mind that's calm and cool. All elements that I promise will help you unlock massive potential on the course. Now I can't wait to see, maybe hear about the ways that you're integrating and benefiting from these exercises. And I truly hope this has been a valuable one. Thank you so much for being here. Keep strong and until next time.